Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host, Loco. Now, in today's video, we got five scary ghost videos of very haunted places by Nukes Top 5 yet again. I really need to find something else to start reacting to. I don't know if this is going to dry up at some point, and then maybe, I don't know, we should probably look at some funny fails or people getting scared could be funny. I always like other people getting scared, except from myself. But I have blabbered on too much. Remember, if you're new around here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tap on the bell icon to get notified any single time that we do drop a brand new video. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this, shall we? Ah, uh, this is this is this is gonna be good. Go. Top five ghosts. Call on camera. Get out. YouTube user Veronica Shannon says that she has been experiencing a terrifying haunting in her apartment. After hearing and seeing strange things around her home, she installed multiple security cameras. Oh no. Things start out simply enough. Her Stop cameras messing pick with children, up some strange man. light anomalies no. and a few odd sounds. I move the camera there. Then, seemingly after Veronica starts paying more attention to the bizarre incidents and telling friends about them, things get a bit more intense. Her two young sons start waking up terrified and screaming every night at around 3 a.m. And things get even weirder. Oh. We got to hold and pause that right there. Would you hold on a minute? I'm meant to believe that that is an apparition. I don't know. What do you guys think? Go ahead and let me know in the comments whether you think that is an actual apparition. I don't know what it is, man. It's unexplainable. I mean, obviously, the kids waking up at stupid clock in the morning, like crying, screaming. That's that's dodgy. But that there, right there. Yeah, I don't know about that though. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna continue though. Twice they catch some odd apparition that seems to appear near the door whenever someone arrives or leaves the apartment. It's almost as if the spirit just doesn't want someone new there. One night, Shane, Veronica, and another mm. friend decide to come. Man, you see that there, yeah? So, <laughs> all right, cool, boom. Open the door, yeah, and it was like, come on in. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Conduct their own informal sort of seance. It doesn't go well. Do you need help? Are you stuck here? Move the camera if you need help. Oh oh, why are you asking it? Okay, that's creepy. The minute he asked you in the boys room, the little boy started crying. I'm not even moving you. This door stopped. Get the fuck out of here. As Shane asks if the ghost is now in the boys room, the children immediately start crying their eyes out. But then, when they rush to the door, something is preventing them from opening it. 
Dude, I'd be kicking that door, door down, I'd be breaking it and boys. everything. Oh, they did. Check out more of Veronica's story and videos over on her YouTube channel, Veronica Shannon. That is, this is literally my only problem with this video is that right there. I don't know if it's because I can't explain it, but to me, I, I don't know. It's, it's too obvious, you know? I think that's the problem. That's the only thing I've got with this video. That there is just way too obvious, man. So that is my only gripe with this video. Other than that, man, that's mud. I'd definitely be... One, you have to try and get somebody in to sort the house out, like cleanse it or what. Two, brother, if that's messing with your kids, either you take your kids out of that room, move them in with you, or you move out the apartment, brother. It's that simple. Let's see what else we got. Guess. On the Russian ghost hunting channel Nerve Paranormal, two guys named Dennis and Tim do paranormal investigations of abandoned and allegedly haunted houses. In this episode, they return to the Akison Manor, a house where they had previously experienced some minor paranormal activity. The guys are using a spirit box, an instrument that supposedly converts electromagnetic activity I'd have been into spoken dipping words. Dipping out from that one little bit there. To get some very I wouldn't be going back neither. I just said that brother's name. His name is Dennis, isn't it? I mean, hell no, bro. Strange movement can be heard on the stairs, but there's no one there. And then, as they continue to explore the manor, things get even weirder. In an earlier investigation, the Nerf Paranormal guys had found a collection of odd child-sized chairs scattered around the house. But now, the chairs aren't so scattered. What? Yeah, but hold up. How do we know they didn't do it unless they live streamed this? Or was that before? I mean, I'm being drawn to this room. I don't know why I'm being drawn to this. And I do not know why, yo. I just want to check something. I'm going to keep my eyes on that. Now I've got... Okay. Like... Fuck no. Nope. I'm dipping. Like, that Despite one the part there, I'm activity. dipping, yo. I'm not staying there. Why would you stay there? To continue their investigation, but it seems that something definitely doesn't want them there. Wait, is that saying he wants to put them two to death? And then things get a bit more intense. Huh? What's, uh, I swear to God, if that little fucking bad news, bro. That top thing behind him, I swear to God, if something stands up and it's in there, bro. Oh, 
They decide to abandon their investigation and make a quick exit. But that's not as easy as it might seem. Oh no! Maybe it was just opening the door. What the actual shit? Dennis and Tim managed to climb to another room and make their escape through an upstairs window. But in the end, what do you think? Man, I'd been Russian ghost first, hunters nerf you paranormal out first. experience an Swear amazing down. and downright terrifying encounter with a poltergeist? Or was it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know, that's a they lot decide. of doors shutting at the same time, bruv. Polish ghost. At a US Army post in Poland, the soldiers monitoring the base security camera had seen an odd figure appear right. on the camera. This is the thing, right? When it see when it comes to like soldiers and that. You kinda inclined to believe them, aren't you? Because they're soldiers. I'm intrigued to see what goes on here, man. Full nights in a row. But whenever they went to investigate, there was no one there. One night, a soldier on duty manages to capture the strange apparition on CCTV. And the thing is about this as well, <laughs> like these uh the CCTV and army barracks, obviously you can't mess with them. They need to make sure they're running properly, so you can't exactly mess with them, can you? The ghost is back. <gasps> and if it's holy f And the ghost is back. <gasps> and if it's holy f As previously mentioned, this was not the first time this bizarre image of a disappearing man was witnessed. Well but maybe it's like what a do you think? Is passed this away a soldier just continuing his routine. Camera? Or something paranormal. You know? Meanwhile, on Fucking TikTok. Creep me out there for a second, Joe. These videos were sent in to me <laughs> yeah. by viewers so many times that I feel like I should at least feature them and let you guys tell me what you think. First off, TikTok user you see that in the background. claims that she caught something strange in the background of one of her TikTok videos. That's on the top left. Oh, you know what? I thought that was something that. Uh, what do you call? How would? How am I gonna? What am I trying to say? Um, like it was crouched, but then I've seen the thing walk in the background. But um, I don't know. The fact that you're, I'm expecting balcony. something to be up in that top corner is kind of. Oh, that looks, that looks small. And in another alleged TikTok ghost sighting, user Jillian McHale posted this video of herself lip syncing and dancing. It's sighting in that background though, is it? Or is that someone else in the house? The video received multiple comments, no. which basically all said, um, Who's that standing in the background? Jillian says that she has no idea who. It's or what she looks like someone's chopping be. stuff up for food. But what do you think about these videos? Are these real That's ghosts what? caught on TikTok or not? You decide. I'm not sure. Ghost of TikTok's Abbey. always one of them ones when you're a bit uh, iffy of it. In the 12th century, the historic Coombe Abbey served as one of the largest monasteries in Warwickshire for nearly 400 years. It is said that the ghosts of many of the monks still haunt the grounds. Later, in 1677, Coombe Abbey became the home of several generations of the Craven family, who lived in the house for over 250 years. It is said that while living in the house, the Craven family had notoriously bad luck. Many of the family members and their children passed away at a young age. The ghosts of some members of the Craven family are said to haunt the creepy old mansion. Fuck out of here if you think I'm gonna believe that was a ghost. to investigate the legendary haunted hotel. But the two self-proclaimed psychic mediums witnessed even more supernatural activity than they expected. 
It was all caught on tape. Yeah. So the REM meter's going off. I need to check it. Do that again, please. Oh my God, this is creepy. What was that? Sounded like it was coming from there, that corner. I can hear laughing, but I feel it's a female. Okay, let's have a look what it was. There's wires here and a candle upside a down. <gasps> what was that? Oh my god. I have no idea. The bizarre noises that the shadow warriors caught. There's a coin were in the corner, enough, right? But creepiest of all was something they caught on camera by accident while randomly filming the outer walls of Kumbabi. Shadow Warriors team says that no one had access to the area of the building where the woman appears at the time they were filming. That's strange. So, what do you think? Could this be a ghost caught on camera? Or is it just a curious lady who wandered off into a restricted area for a better look at the ghost hunters? I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And check out the Shadow Warriors channel for their full investigation of Kumbabi. Thanks for watching. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top. Thing is, though, it's very easy for people like me to dismiss the things that they found because we're not there at the time. So, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure what. This definitely wasn't, like, scary. I mean, it was more borderline creepy than anything. I've definitely been scared in a few of Nuke's videos. As you probably well know. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. That one with the with the parents and the kids. I remember it was the first or the second video. That, I don't know. It, doing seances and shit like that. And doing Ouija boards and all that shit. That's never a good route to go, man. I mean, especially if you don't really know what you're doing. So... I don't know, and the fact that they then locked the two boys into into their bedroom, well, that's enough for me to once I've brought that door down, just to finally just get out of there and never go back. I'm not sure about the apparition that they caught get uh, kept opening doors and that. That's a bit, mm, it's a bit sus, but everything else is it sounds, you know, that good enough to be real. So. Oh no. That was it was definitely strange. It was definitely, definitely strange. Definitely a strange video. Now, I've I've mentioned it a bunch of times. There is one place that I do want to go to. The Skiridin in Wales. I don't know like obviously it won't be this year, but maybe like next year I could possibly try and go. I don't know whether to I, I it's strange. I don't know whether to do it for like a, a goal set it as a goal like maybe like when you get get to a certain number of subscribers then then do it i'm not too sure but hey go ahead and let me know in the comments what you thought about this video whether you thought they were real whether you thought some of them were a bit too iffy i don't know it's strange man i'm glad there was no dolls in this one i'm a hundred percent glad there was no dolls in this one but yo without further ado like i said man i am your host loco Remember to subscribe, turn on the bell icon to get notified anytime we do drop a brand new video. If you have gone ahead and liked this video, then go ahead and please drop a like. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Ciao!